Hey guys, um, so I'm still working on this, uh, you know, asymmetrical regaging. So I've got a nice sore tooth wave uh, that is on, okay, this side of the circuit, which is just has the diode and the resistor. And um, I made this coil, and I basically have a bunch of, um, you know, toroids that I, you know place together and then I have uh, the whole length of the wire is 16.2 meters so I cut that in half and then I round half on this side and so basically one coil is wound this one direction this way on the first layer then continue on the same direction back and then flipping it around going the opposite direction in this section so this section of one half of the coil is non-inductive, and then the same on the other side. So then there's so basically there's a section here and a section here of non-inductive coil, and then you know uh, this so uh, this the two coils. Um, I've tried I've tried a couple of different things um, uh, with the with the L1 coil or the input coil. Uh, first I tried actually wrapping a coil on another ferrite core and then placing it inside to see if I could, you know, see how that would do, but there just wasn't enough um, coupling or magnetic coupling between the two to give, you know, to give any real effect. So the best effect was actually wrapping it around the outside. Now I've tried all different locations, one end, the other end, the middle, on the inductive parts to see, you know, I, I put together a bit of a graph to see what was going on, but it's, I'm just not, I mean, I can get the, the, the bulb to light nicely just by regular induction, you know, but then I use a lot of, you know, ended up drawing a lot of wattage, you know, to the, so it's definitely nowhere near over unity or above unity. Um, so, uh, the, the length of this coil is 16.2 meters. So what I thought of trying, 16.2 uh, meters would, would resonate, or the wavelength frequency of that is 18.5 uh, megahertz. Half of that, uh, 8.1 meters, is about 37 megahertz. And then, so then what I thought of trying was trying a harmonic of that frequency um, so setting a harmonic of that frequency here to see if I can get an effect happening if I, you know, put a, a pulse into it at a harmonic of the frequency of, of the, of the um, wavelength. But that didn't seem to make much of a difference either. I did put it, I, I thought I'd put a capacitor in here on one side. So on the side of the coil uh, that has the load to see if, if that helps to get the voltage up. And it does get the voltage up if you look. Right now the bulb is in, and if I just unscrew the bulb, you can see it'll jump up to 20 volts, and that's because right now you have LC resonance between you know the cap and, and this, this side of the coil. And you can see if I just change the frequency a little bit, it just drops right off, right? Put it back to the, the resonant frequency of this LC circuit, and it I get a nice jump, but still, um, I'm not getting, I've got a light out, okay? But you can see that on the side of the coil that, that, the, uh, that I have the blue trace, which is just the side with the diode, um, it's, it, it's a nice sawtooth wave. And if you look, the RMS between the current on the bulb is 24 milliamps and the RMS on the sawtooth wave is 150. So I've got about 125 milliwatts of power pumping between these two coils. So, um, I mean, there's a few things, a few other things I want to try. Obviously, I'm just, I'm not getting that uh, magnetic coupling or the current uh, high enough. I know I've got to go on and look at that calculator again that you got online there, Chris, um, to, to, to look at that. But I just wanted to, I don't know, just give an update. I'm working on this stuff. Uh, it's pretty exciting to, to finally start having some of these concepts um, going through the brain. 
and uh, yeah so that's kind of it for now um, I think the next thing I'll try is maybe just wrap this coil all the way like just do a spiral wrap and see do the whole coil and see what that kind of does but um, otherwise I'm back to the drawing board I'm not sure if this type of uh, core works because it's it's kind of like a dipole where you know it's not looped back on itself like you guys cores have I'm, I don't have any of those fancy cores that you guys have so I'm just trying to you know um, make it work with what I have available <laughs> I find that's what most people end up doing they try and see what they get lying around and um, make it happen from what they have um, you know I've, I do have some, uh, some of these you know old uh, ferrite cores out of the back of the TVs so I'm thinking maybe to try that too maybe that'll give a better effect um, you know I did try this I, I do have this nice perme permeable core which I tried as well and wrapped that um, this this gives me very similar results um, to this one uh, these very similar uh, the same um, but I think it's to do with the coupling of the L1 that I'm having and I have no induct no um, non-inductive coil wrapped on this um, uh, uh, um, core um, so that's why I was just trying to see if there was a difference by doing some you know somewhat of a section of the non-inductive on this to see if that made a difference but it doesn't seem to have not yet not 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 that I can see uh, in my setup and I'm just pulsing um, you know right now that's only five percent duty cycle and it's five percent seems to be pretty good sometimes even three or two uh, even uh, does a nice job but um, it definitely does make a difference where I put this on the coil uh, for sure I, I found when I move this over to the this end of the coil uh, I definitely get a lot more light like the light will light up pretty bright when I put the the L1 over onto the side of the coil which has the light bulb on it but that's obviously just due to the magnetic coupling and induction uh, of this being right on that coil but then on this side of the coil which you have the nice sawtooth wave then that really drops off to nearly nothing so to me the the, the error that I have here uh, is to do with the magnetic coupling between the L1 and our <coughs> uh, output coils all right and uh, that's it for now. Take it easy. Bye.